Meghan Markle here. Today is August 21st, 2023. It is 1.05 a.m. Uh, yesterday, after I finished edit my main videos, and uh, I just went on uh, just creating like a whole bunch of small videos, um, shorts on for this channel and for my our part of Pure Service. I was just creating some short video. All right, so yeah. 3,108 subscribers, new subscribers, welcome. Actually today, the 21st, YouTube should be either today or tomorrow. I forgot to do that before I, I start recording, but when I'm editing, I'll put a screenshot. They should deposit or start transferring some money into my account. So we'll see what they have. Um, right now, my estimate revenue is $260.52. That's throughout the month. I, this number have been stuck around 200 last month I was complaining it was stuck around 300 but now it's even worse and I have videos every day okay a video every day some people said they're not getting no their notification and uh, I don't know I really don't know what's going on with my channel but I'm just showing you my back end all right let's go to my analytic um, page all right so couple of days ago it took a dive now it went back up a little bit I guess because of the short videos okay so the last 48 hours I had 5,829 uh, I guess views okay and my subscribers keeps uh, rising all right so let's go on Twitter so this one i just saw it and i added on my list it's further down um on my uh, on my list i'm not gonna share it with, with you but there's other small tweets you know i saw the squad uh, putting but i don't want to put it on my list but i just want to show you very quickly okay work shy really friends are so cringe now this is the picture that they put in and yesterday i saw some some tweets of him like I, I might have it on my uh on my list where he's playing soccer real soccer not just they put his head onto somebody's thing body but uh he's like running away from the ball or something like that the way he was on the field is ridiculous so now that his friends are putting like tough looking um kind of images so this is one of them <laughs> and the squad came with this <laughs> But they put him on a nice body, but I don't think he has that kind of a muscle. All right, so this is uh, Queen. What's her name? Queen Latitsa. Okay, I don't know her. Oh, there. <laughs> her name is on the shirt. Latizia. Okay, so there she is here. I have some videos regarding the soccer team. She's always in shape. Always in shape. All right, there she is here. All right, so these are not on my list i just wanted to share with you before i uh start my list there were some other things okay so there's this as well all right queen latitia and infanta sofia of spain comfort england's lionesses it cannot be overstated just how badly this photo reflects on prince william and the british royal family so oh, are these the okay so that's the english she's shaking their hands Oh my goodness. I know they must feel really bad. I mean losing is not a fun thing, but um to still compose themselves to walk up there, we need to give them uh credit for that. And let's not forget this is a tournament. Uh it's not easy to get there. And to be second is not as bad as 
yes i understand they would love to win everybody love winning right but um their own country i wasn't even behind them this is sad this is almost the same thing that happened last year with invictus netherlands all of the top people were not even there to support them this is sad the uk you need to do something about that they did this to invictus i pointed out on my videos when i was doing videos for uh, invictus no one was there to congratulate them or to boost them to give them energy or you know it's during the game that's when it matters afterward it doesn't matter anymore all right so they did well because they eliminate a lot of other teams to get where they are now but unfortunately they didn't win the championship but um you know that's how tournament goes somebody have to win somebody have to lose all right so this is another thing i'm not p uh, gonna play it because there's a music in the background and uh that's when archie is saying he got a dirty foot and then there's a music in the background so i'm not even gonna all right so and there's this as well pride of a nation my goodness king brings andrew and from cold what the hell is that daily express the, the leaders are not even behind them i don't understand this i really don't understand this the only thing i could think of as i'm editing this video regarding what the uk did for not showing up and supporting their team it has to be something there's i think there's more to it there's more to their not showing support to their team big i don't know i feel like like harry said they are trapped and when you look at in the united states trump is doing the same thing too trump has done the same thing taunting the u.s team when they lost i believe to sweden okay let me i'll look for a screenshot of that to share with you it's the same kind of vibe that's going on so the same kind of group leaders that behaving almost in the same manner so something is not right maybe it's someone who's dictating to them how to um to do their job i don't know that's just my humble opinion because the same kind of behavior is happening with trump as well and it's the same group against their own country i don't know something is not right i don't know what it is but i see a pattern of same behavior that's all i'm pointing out all right so let me start with my list now this is on my list but it's further down are there more things i should share okay the world family bots are active on social media today lioness so what are they saying now let's see here okay king Charles III, who is also king of australia has yet to visit australia the australian government delay inviting him this means prince william can yeah they're making excuses just excuses for not showing up okay so this is this was not on my list i just wanna uh share it with you really quickly all right so let's start my list now okay so this is my list first tweet okay Bef let me pause before megan marco joined the royal family she had a great life a successful career as an actress business owner designer and humanitarian she created two capsule collection fitment and appeared in an ad for them all right so this should have been further down but i'll share it with you right now anyway because i have some stuff for her but it's further down on the list okay so let's listen if there's music i'm gonna change the music and i will be putting some screenshot in between to just disrupt the video okay so youtube don't flag it <laughs> oh my gosh it's megan markle Sorry. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. 
Hey, you're Meghan Markle. Yeah, hi. Ladies, it's Reedman. Really? All right, so it's a bit man. Uh, why I love this wasn't there also a Jane ad that she did at one point? I'm not sure if it was with Matt as well. That one was really good, too. Okay, I was going to include it then, I forgot. Okay, thanks for sharing this. It's lovely to watch. There's a thumbs up. Thanks, sis. Love this. Okay, she had it made before finding Harry the love of her life. In turn, they both gave up everything in the name of love. How many other couples will have done that? She left everything for the love of Harry. Then, for the love of Meghan, Harry gave up everything, but they both had love. That is for sure. Yeah, in some other videos, I've said this. Yeah, she gave up everything. Yeah, they pretty much start balance okay exactly no matter how hard they try megan's past history and present can never be rewritten yep they try they try to rewrite her history they try okay may had so many hair commercials car commercial etc them no more strolling the street of new york running to shows during fashion weeks funny how harry wanted to join her and her freedom and she got trapped in his cage <laughs> in a way yeah yeah that is true okay the irony that's right yep Th that is a very good one that is a very good one here what was it meg had so many hair commercials car commercials etc them no more strolling the street of new york city running to shows during fashion week funny how harry wanted to join her and her freedom and she got trapped in his cage yep that is very true okay exciting there's that all right that's ad lol i love that ad redrop those lines there's the money cute all right so let's go to the next tweet oh it's more megan video maybe i'll move the other one that from south africa i'll move it before i go to the next one okay so there's another one here uh better than any fairy tale you ever read all right a minute and 30 seconds i don't know if it has music if you hear a different form of music the typical ones that's because i changed it okay megan i give you this ring megan i give you this ring as a sign of our marriage as a sign of our marriage with my body i honor you with my body i honor you all that i am i give to you all that i am i give to you and all that i have all that i have i share with you i share with you within the love of god the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Harry was serious here. His eyes and everything. You could see <laughs> he would look so vulnerable there. Look at them in the back. Harry, I give you this ring. Harry, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. Sign of our marriage. With my body, I honor you. With my body, I honor you. All that I am, I give you. All that I am, I give you. And all that I have, I, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In one of the videos, I spoke about the. Uh, the tiara and there were some uh, other options that they gave um, for the queen and stuff like that and I think this one I picked this one that she chose big at what was it I think that was one of the Queen's collection and uh, she was gonna wear Princess Diana's tiara and then you know the the institution you know wants to have their name and connection with things and all of a sudden uh, they gave her a choice to pick I think three out of the um, three out of the Queen's collection but she was gonna wear Princess Diana's uh, tiara um, so the one that she chose I like it and uh, if she didn't if this one was not part of the 
choices that they gave her to choose i would have picked princess diana's one because it's a little bit more subtle less chaotic compared to the other two that uh, she then she did not choose all right so there's one video i think it's on pure yte that i spoke about the tiara look at them backstabbers Stop. in the back jesus christ Okay, I'm gonna put a different music. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be <laughs> kind of sound kind of crazy in the background. The others are not even looking this pregnant moment. Sad family. Okay, not just sad, but evil family who will not be happy for their son, brother, cousin, and so forth. But they claim to have accepted Megan. If you watch the wedding again, you can see the whole side of the royals of grumpy, smirking, and acting childish. Yeah. Yeah, when you look in the background, you see that. But on Megan's side, you see the smile, her friends so happy for her and everything. Okay, and Kate's face, when she was asked by a reporter about the engagement, her horribly face, as she turned away, said, it's all, yet people are still trying to push the propaganda. Megan was welcomed with open arms. Okay, propaganda, nah, delusion is a better world. Okay, is a better word. What's up with Charles and Camilla looking the other way? They are good as hell. Yeah, that's how they accepted Megan, right? Just imagine if it was Megan who did that. All right, the most important part of the ceremony and his family could not even look at them. Mm -hmm. They tried their best to not get to the point. But Princess Diana was doing her work up there. I know that was about them, not the other way around. I'm always confused by people who tell me about royal having class and dignity. Where were those traits here? Just imagine what Harry says about the evilness of his family when he watches his wedding. They acted like kids. They acted like kids. Look at Charles III not paying attention while his last born son was getting married. A uh, waste man of a father indeed. Okay, deadbeat father, I wonder how Diana persevered for so many years being in that cesspool and being with that vulture. Honestly, I wanted an epic film made about their love and their fight for the right to love and be 100% themselves. The clan continues to try to destroy them, but hell no, we won't let that happen. That's for sure. I know there will be one after their documentary and spare. Those two projects provided more than enough information. Unfortunately, 100%. Unfortunately for what? Okay, so what? Okay, so maybe it's something else. It's not part of the thread here. Um, look at that picture. I never realized that Charles and Camilla weren't even paying attention as they took their vows, shaking my damn head. Yeah, they're cold-hearted people and we're supposed to believe that these are the same people who welcome Megan with open arms. They like to give their words is what they like to give people words of what they want to hear but the action is completely different it's charles on his cell phone no he can't stomach seeing the family escape good get freedom i mean they never thought harry will wed someone one day yeah they try they try when you look at uh, the docu series um how harry um you know the paparazzi the people uh try to destroy everybody any woman that was in um and his life and when the in a way i don't know and i think i've said this before uh it was a way to open harry's eyes you know his past relationship i'm not i'm not talking in any shape or form negatively about any of them and harry have already spoke about them anyway and in a way that is somewhat um like look how he's defending on the um phone hacking thing all right so this has nothing to do with the people personally all right but my point is these women were meant to be in harry's life in order for harry's eyes to be open when the right person comes along when the right person where who could sustain that same kind of lifestyle uh where harry could be prepared what i mean by that look how um the paparazzi uh, who knows maybe his family sent the paparazzi to disrupt his relationship all right get into meddling into their their lives meaning harry and his exes and try to scare those women away all right so harry don't don't go 
but when the white person come harry knows if the uh, the paparazzi his family know about megan they're gonna do the same thing so what did they do harry kept that a secret did all sort of traveling and meet with megan go to africa do different things go back and forth uh between canada and the uk so they kept that a secret and then when they ready and then they start telling people about it and then you see what happened okay dig into her past get her social security number all sort of private information try to create a narrative how bad she was all right how bad she was thank god she was already in the public eyes she had a fan three million plus set of ball eyes were watching as you know their love story unfold and people were like no that's not what uh, megan is all about okay at that time i was not really into it and all of that but the people who were following megan from the get-go knew about certain things and they knew the stories that uh, the paper was writing were wrong okay because that's not the person megan is and this is what really helped you know debunk the nonsense that they were spewing because if i didn't know okay many people like myself would easily buy it believe what we were reading but when i start putting one and one together myself and this is a repetition of things i i knew megan existed i knew you know she'd done some other films here and there but never really follow her but you never hear anything nothing negative about her that's the thing you never hear a damn thing about her in canada i don't know about people in canada maybe people in canada will hear much more um good things about her because she was doing a lot of other things but in the u.s you don't hear a damn thing and then all of a sudden the second she stepped in the uk you seeing all of these things the first two i will say uh, what i was reading on papers got me and i probably said ah whatever and brush it off the second one brush it off third one i was like wait a second that cannot be every time there's a headline about her it's negative that's when my radar went and, and i dig up a little bit more and then i find out how the system in the uk works and i was like what the f is this all right so that's that let me i need to move on all right let me read what's there and then move on okay uh let's see here it shows on okay i read that no i read that as well notice how charles refused to look while harry said his vow then look up when harry was done shaking my damn head these races were against this marriage from the very beginning and when they could do nothing to stop it decided to try and destroy it remember that started by colluding with thomas jr who wrote an open letter asking for Prince Harry not to wed her, then followed Thomas Marco to mess their wedding, that he even faked his heart attack. They play him, Chuck got a good coverage while he got a negative one. That, that is very sad. I mean, now we, there's a video I did yesterday. I think it was, yeah, yesterday. Um, I spoke about it. Why the, uh, why the family, certain people were not invited in megan's wedding all right go watch that video and i put another one um it's part of the long uh how do you call it it's part of the long um tweet videos and then in one part of uh, while i was reading the comments under one of the tweet and that's when i start saying certain things and i decided to create a separate video by itself about that one okay charles in the background looking down at the ground this is while his son harry is speaking his vow how about to be honest that your own father is not in the moment for you anyways move on from them and let them be worshipped okay, as they love to call us peasant take take okay these people are so fake everything they do is performative archie and little bit will grow up one day to watch how these evil people behave in a wedding they claim to have accepted megan i really don't know how harry and megan survive in that cesspool and protected their marriage okay i don't believe in hating anyone but i think i could easily make a couple of exception for charles and camilla they are two of the most gross and disgusting people currently living on this planet <laughs> 
truly despicable being. Okay, an uh, amazing, special, and most important, sacred moment. May God continue to bless that union. Okay, he will. There's is a match made in heaven. Can you, Camilla, and Chaz chatting during the vow? If my family had done that during mine, I would have forgiven them. I wouldn't have forgiven them. How would her, her crass, her very Camilla Packables? What is it? There was something that I saw yesterday. A comment where someone said, uh, what is it? William is following the father's footstep and everything like that. And also, there's a possibility, you know, the stepmother is trying to make uh, the other brother, you know, go the same path as, uh, as the father because... Uh, there's also horrible so if you join them in the horribleness they'll be they'll be happy about that because these people can never be happy for you if you're in misery and all of that they they enjoy that all right this is the next tweet without words 25 seconds uh i think there is a uh, music yeah there's a music so i mute it if i'm talking in the background you could hear so Harry took a flower from the public to give to Megan. That's nice. Alright, let's see here. Uh, anyone think Harry brings Megan a cup of tea in bed? I love a partner that does this. Okay, I'm sure he does. Love Prince Harry and Megan's true love. Prince Harry have proven his love for his wife and their children the moment he decided with the option 5. Megan does the same because Harry and Megan is the best team. Yeah, they said that. Uh, they're a fantastic team. They know it. I, I know the fact that she'll be really unbelievably good at the job part of it as well um, is obviously a huge, huge relief to me because she'll be able to deal with, with everything else that comes with it. But um, mm. no, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're a fantastic team. We know we are. And okay haters love hate haters hate love that is for sure just what i was saying uh that that's why taxi create rumors of harry and megan harry has raised the bar culture around relationship was already changing but he pulls a visual example of what a healthy nurturing partner looks like watching him interact with her a few times and it's hard to go back to deadbeats who don't want to be faithful Okay, they're such a nice and natural couple. Megan, I love you. Well said. He sure does. She deserves it, I think. She is giving him a balanced life. We're full of joy with their kids. And they both are doing such a good job and achieving a lot. There's a heart. Beautiful. Yeah, that is true. Okay, so what I'm going to do here. The end. Hold your breath for six months. Okay, I think I'm going to switch some stuff over. Let me see what the next one is. If uh, still about Megan, if not, the ones that I saw before, I'm gonna change it. Nah, okay, so let's change it. The suits, William, Megan, Mason. Okay, so there's two tweets I'm gonna change around here. Okay, since the first few tweets were about Megan, so let's keep it together. Okay, suit cast. Uh, this one was very interesting. Is there a music? Let me see. Yeah, there's a music, so I'm gonna keep the music out. All right, L look at this cast who doesn't age, especially the goddess at the end. All right, so I'm gonna mute that. I'll put my own music. Okay, 2011, 39 years old. Are we? Yeah, there's a music. 39 years old and 2023, 51. If he shaved, he still look the same. Alright, 2011, he was only 30. Wow. They just kept their beard 41. If they shave it, you, they still look. Wow, she was 42 in 2011. 54, 2023. Oh my god, it's like they're aging backward. Okay, that's uh, 39, 2011. There she is, 2023, 50. Wow. You don't know how much I hated him at the beginning of the show. But he's the coolest. 53. He played his part very well. She was 30 also. 2011. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, 42. Hmm. 2023. Yep. 
All right, let's see here. That's a different language. Haha, -ha, enjoy. Nice, love this. I'm loving this rewatch. They look good. There's the loving eye. All right, you had okay. The video link, there's this here. A uh, fact the face card does not decline for any of them. Sarah and Megan, though. I need the skincare routine. It's almost like acting right and looking out for people want to have mother nature right in your looks to go with your soul. Lovely edit featured the gorgeous aging backward fabulous awesome cast of suit love not hate good over evil beautiful inside and out that's what this video illustrate them special shout out to sarah and megan suit did them all good there's a thumbs up they really didn't age if they did they're doing it in slow motion unproblematic people who hydrate Megan didn't age wow beautiful souls don't age no trace of envy jealousy or bitterness in them yep okay exactly that's what happened when you're good people I love them all great video something in the water on that set yep and they look out for each other like Megan said in one of those video with Sarah they like a family they do like each other and stuff like that why not do it I mean we're about to start filming season four and so I think you know, we're just so grateful that people have responded so well to the show that we're, that, you know, if we're lucky enough to have five, six, seven seasons, that these oh friendships that you see us develop on camera are really a reflection of how well we all get along off camera. Yeah. And it's not just that cliche of, no. oh, we're friends with everyone, no. but you actually we're are. Not yeah, not <laughs> we actually really <laughs> like each other. Um, and, and it's funny, like, I'm getting excited to go back. It's almost mm -hmm. like going back to camp or like back to school night. Yeah. So, um, yeah, more fun and more fun to be had. Well, the chemistry really shows on screen. I'm excited for the rest of season three yes. um, and congratulations on everything you guys. Thank you so much. All right, next tweet. There's that. Uh -huh. Megan is crying all the way to the bank. Who are you again? All right, so I bookmarked this. So it started here. There's more stuff regarding suit. All right, suit on Netflix. Okay, Megan's role was not a typical cutthroat lawyer, but I love when she hold her on. I hope she channels Rachel's character on suit when telling Prince of Peggy not to point his finger in her face. <laughs> this is a small clip from uh, suit. Oh my god. I'll play it. If you don't see it, that's because YouTube probably did something. And I'll try to interrupt it, put some screenshot and things like that. Screenshot meaning you don't see their face moving and I literally took a screenshot of it. Alright, so let's see here. See what this part they're talking about. Just know if you don't see it, that's because I had some issue with YouTube, okay? He didn't tell me anything. He asked me where you were and what you were working on and I had to lie to his face. Rachel. Did you hear me? I had to lie to Harvey's face. Yes, I heard you and I'm sorry. I don't want to hear I'm sorry. I want to hear that you're dropping this goddamn thing. Rachel, I... No excuses. You said it's your word to Oscar Reyes that mattered to you. Well, you know what, Mike? You need to get your priorities straight. Because my word became nothing today. And I don't ever want to be put in that position again. Ooh. So it's up to you. You either go and work at the clinic or you stay at Pearson Spectre. But what you can't do anymore is play them both fools and put me in the middle. Oh. I'm going to go now. When I come back, you can let me know what you decide. <laughs> That's very true. He didn't tell me anything. <gasps> oh my God. This is the thing that Pegging thought he would take you know control over her she wasn't having it <laughs> they're making that reference when she pointed the other one point finger at her okay sorry okay so this is what the um i bookmark here all right sorry but she is a terrible actress arms ramrod straight stiff just speaking word she was instructed to say well she got her money worth if uh, if she wasn't good at it they will have fire her it's her who decided to leave all right why megan is crying all the way to the bank who are you again let's see and those network tv checks just keep rolling and not only does megan receive royalties every time her episode of suit of aired on usa or nba peacock's streaming service but she's also paid out by amazon prime and netflix the show streaming home in the usa and uk respectively whenever subscribers settle all right so that's that that's my comment here you beat me to it and you bought we see it <laughs> all right so th there's like 45 comment or oh, 48 now all right so i'm not gonna go through it 
right, so now I think I'm done with uh, Megan stuff usually these will be at the end but I happen to put them first okay so this is Henry the eighth I would hold your breath every four to six months the wells do something that that should result in a scandal uh, a few big accounts latch on and then bam the UK media sweeps in and cleans it up all right there is such an obvious contract and place the prince of wales will be protected in the end <laughs> there's me responding the pattern here is clear yeah they, this is their pattern yep true but the dragging is fun <laughs> true but the dragging is fun yep he knows it will all blow over and they'll and they'll be back to their regular schedule program by monday yeah that's regarding the sacred thing all right because they were dragging him all weekend for not showing up they were dragging him so he's like eh, do a video and then move on he forgot about that and things will be uh he'll be protected all right just like then wooten with uh what is it uh byline article that came out you didn't hear a thing from the mainstream media but uh hey he's back on air from what i saw in one of my old videos all right next week so now we are into the sacred thing look at the love and compassion she is showing for her team class act queen of spain how beautiful is this exactly what we need in this world forget work shy william does the queen suit look familiar okay i think i shared this on my community board all right so this is kind of small all right hugging them wow it i don't know i'm assuming this is the team captain because there's the vest behind I'm assuming. I didn't follow that at all. All right. Remember, Queen Letitia is much like Megan in terms of life experience. She was until she was. She still is. Okay. She's still alive. All right. She was an intelligent, self-aware woman from middle class with a real job that she worked hard at before she married the prince. A divorce also, or a divorcee also. I feel a real world experience has been credited to her. Okay, I don't know anything about any, any other worlds. If I spoke about them, that's because I probably pick up some someplace else. But I do not know. Okay, let me go into that. Five comments under there. I'm aware, real life job she work hard at. All right, that's in Spanish. Congratulations, you're the first derangement to comment in my post. I don't know what she said here. Okay, oh, was she a yacht girl too? Nah, nah. I believe was it she uh, on TV? Okay, so let's look at her. Uh, Queen Latitza. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> to the King of Spain. Okay, I think it was Prince before that. Okay, Latitza came from the middle class family. She worked as a. That's I was like i think she was uh, on tv something yeah so there it is she worked as a journalist for abc and f uh, efe before becoming a news anchor at cnn oh she was at cnn too and television española okay so that's in spanish is that her here okay so that's her here okay okay so that's what she did Okay, I know sh there was a TV thing here, but I wasn't know I wasn't sure if it was actress or there it is. So it's journalist, uh, news anchor. So let's go back. Uh, so they they want to frame everybody into the one they're trying to pop up, who was you know sitting on different men's lap and all of that. People are laughing. <laughs> oh, was she a yard girl too? Nope. Let's see. Let's tweak comment under that. Okay, let's this here. Kate was a yard girl, not Megan. Try again okay uh kate was a deck hand on a yacht megan a yacht nah 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 they're trying to rewrite history let's reset here all right let me not go into that all right they're trying to say stupid things let's see what else can i put here happy to see this sadly her people are extremely racist who who's the, her people okay i don't know our megan is the gold standard for women everywhere, I love the support this screen is giving. Our lot couldn't even be bothered to show up. The foodie fans should show him the same decorum when he appears at games in future. Boo! <laughs> okay, according to this article, the Spanish royal are paid £7.4 million, while British royals 86 
to 127 million pound okay i said spain is getting their money worth all right that's from the guardian i'll leave the link in the description you guys could read it okay um that's commercial i mean all monarchies should be abolished but at least letitia proved that workshire william only had to show up that's literally his job watch wave talk hug but that's still too much work for him prince william abolished the monarchy he's giving more excuses for them to abolish them okay and i think there's some issues in spain as well i'm not there was something I was doing and I was reading how they actually don't want this, uh, the Spanish monarchy to be existing as well. Okay, her fashion is always on point. Uh, Letizia of Spain, beautiful but important, such a modern day amazing inspiration to female sport in Spain. She didn't just turn up, smile and wave, she engaged fully and by looks of it, really had brilliant time with daughters. Spain lucky to have such lovely queen Kate where are you ah, there's that here oh so this is where they're trying to uh say uh channeling Megan okay yes Megan wore it in white over a year ago copied by Kate okay there's this a queen who doesn't have war protocol about not hugging people all right so that's add and they give out hugs yeah i like these royals better she is a stunning lady her fashion is fantastic okay i'm in love with this spanish low-key queen queen Leticia is my kind of girl okay i just love queen Leticia. what was it the other queen of uh, netherland when they did their tour um okay i'm not gonna read anymore but while i'm talking you guys could read this uh when they did their caribbean tour okay they uh they were dancing and hugging with the uh, locals all right so that's that next tweet okay just like prince harry it's never coming home <laughs> i'm telling you the squad are really really out of this world in other words I'm, I'm assuming she's making reference to the trophy of you know the soccer trophy is that going back to the uk okay i effing love you and you're a savagery there's that there's this emojis okay i'm just passing along the message okay i'm not watching are we losing already okay games over spain one one zero okay that's commercial was rooting for england maybe next time <laughs> too soon there's this there's that oh lord okay lol game over congrats to spain haha -ha, omg stop it what is that uh never only comma came home what is that oh uh, so did they did that to other player and then they did they didn't give them a card okay i was not for or is that a photoshop i don't know whatever it is whatever all uh, right let's tweet comment under that what is that okay it will have really annoyed me if she became a wc winner after world cup okay world cup winner after this maliciousness she should have been suspended for the rest of the tournament okay so she did that they then give her a red card oh my god exactly she should have been giving a three match ban which is the standard practice but was giving to oh so they did still giving her yeah they needed to lose for this alone okay this part okay i don't know anything about i didn't watch the tournament at all okay not one not one match not even following to see who's playing nothing all right next tweet okay so that's the one here this is good this is the queen of netherland dancing when she was in um when she, uh, in the caribbean when they did that tour and i think i did a video about this as well okay excluding the british on royal family encumbered encumbered with the decipher protocol the only european royal families slay at being royal and made it so easy to like them all right sussex squad workshire really prince of begging all right so this is a minute and 14 seconds that was during the match let's go into it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's her, oops, there's her daughter on the side here, right here. There's the daughter here. Okay, 
y el trofeo. Y la infanta que es muy apasionada al sí, fútbol, de hecho, picture. se apuntó a un equipo, yo creo que de hecho está practicándolo, así que estará súper feliz de estar ahí, de poder haber vivido esta historia de fútbol. Ahí el posado histórico también. Con Doña Leticia y Doña Sofía. That's nice. Okay, so this is the Queen of Netherlands. <laughs> And I think that's the once the father pass, she's the one who's gonna take over. It's it's kind of weird. What is it? Netherlands and Spain, they both have daughters. Very strange. Wow, some major things is gonna come in the future for them. It seems. Yeah, the next heir to the throne in the Netherlands and in Spain, uh, they both have uh, daughters. Two daughters. Okay, so they took her along. I think they left the other daughter i guess i guess they can have both of them uh, traveling together but since she's the one who's heir to the throne they have to take her to learn along with the father and i think they came up with uh, some final thing I, I probably did share it with you already i forgot how it went with their um because they the net the king of netherland had uh sent or pay people to do some research how they were involved with the slave trade and all of that and i think they came with a conclusion and other things like that and i don't think the the government i mean there's still races there all right let's not be too cocky about that all right but uh, he just don't want to be part of that mess that the uk is uh, trying to get them be part of because i remember after the queen's funeral uh there were a couple meetings that happened later on this like maybe weeks after um king of spain had a meeting with charles i remember saying something like he better not follow uh what charles is doing because charles is in a league of his own and i was like and i start bringing the king of uh, of spain's uh, father remember there was he was missing for a couple uh weeks or and on and there was some money missing and all that and i was like he better not follow charles and do those nonsense his father already took a blame whatever it is that uh, he did so don't go and follow charles and try to be entrapped with it his father already did the nonsense for him so he has clean slate there's nothing they could hold against them so he i was like he better not follow or uh, do what charles uh, wants him to do i remember saying that on that particular video so yeah charles isn't he trapped himself trying to be in bed with the the tabloid and all of that nah the others better stay away from they could still be royal and be friend with them but don't get into charles mess let him deal with it on his own Look at the king in the back. That's what I was saying. I'm gonna change the music completely. I wish you could have heard the music. It's really good, but I'm gonna change it anyway. YouTube will um, give me copyright. Yeah, she knows how to dance. She knows how to dance, okay? Uh, made a protocol used to deceive the public and control. Both women, Leticia and Maxima, had very successful professional careers before they married and became queen. Maxima as an economist, Leticia as a study journalist, okay, which I just looked a few minutes ago. Uh, queen Leticia of Spain, congratulations, the lionesses, okay? You need to archive the video with Queen Leticia and the team of Spain. They are blacking this video. Really? Please archive the video if you can. 
really they blacking the video hmm. i love to see the queen dancing uh do anyone know the title of the song who sings it please yeah it's a really good song a very no good song but i'm sorry i can't play it uh you love to see it beautiful queen love hearing them chant sophia's name all right let's get to the next one. Oh my goodness what was it there was a uh a event a sporting event that uh, William went and his team lost and he quickly he didn't even go and shake the his team's you know console console his team he just dashed out of there I mean this guy my goodness phew I mean and everything okay in every sports there's gonna be a winner or a loser okay but you have to be prepared when it's not you who's the winner my goodness otherwise if you're just gonna win 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 then um it will be good don't get me wrong i'm not saying winning is bad it will be good but remember both teams are thriving for the same thing i right? they they train as hard if not more than the the other team so each one is thriving for the other one and the best player win at that time work shy really king charles request for the bbc not to show the footage of queen leticia of spain at the women's world cup final just demonstrate that neither he the royal family nor the advisors understand social media <laughs> video there's that all right so that's the same thing i just share let's see here yeah the same thing <laughs> uh, i'm gonna stop it soon though let me drink my coffee all right that's the same thing i just uh right there's me stone age royals <laughs> i forgot i respond stone age royals the expertise is that scheming people they are holding the country back then again it's always up to the people that country but okay uh the first thing i think of when i saw the word king charles is tampon okay my favorite influence of king tampon was by tesco of the coronation okay let's celebrate the king of coronation <laughs> oh they put it on that side oh my god the shade people be throwing okay geez if if true that is shameful you can bet what is broadcast as it makes you look bad okay all the lazy behind had to do was let harry and megan be the royals at large they wanted to be they will have been front and center cheering the team on and perhaps with the children and tow charles and william deserve the criticism yep uh but the point here is that why the king has the right to tell bbc what to do hey that's what happened when there's a a, a monarchy uh, i don't know even though the power is limited i don't know they give him it seems like if this is true it seems like they're giving him full power like full king kingdomship or whatever uh the spanish queen and her daughter seem modern like a bow down to earth and relatable and i hope they're reading this so they know that uh, they're doing the right thing uh, all they need is the public to be on their side that's all it is all they need is the people to be on their side in order to do that they have to do some of these stuff that the queen just did here uh did he really do they not read history book and see what happens to royal family that become super unpopular and out of touch with their subject mm, i've been saying that not so much over here but on pure white to e yeah yeah that's what i'm saying all they need is the people to like them that's it once the people don't like you uh when they get to a point where they don't give a f all right you're gonna see what's gonna happen they're gonna be running all right the, uh, what is it in one video i said uh philip i right? look what happened to charles father philip he had to run out well he was a kid at that time um he had no control of that but uh, his family they chased them out of greece okay royal family is so manipulative harry so much better off then the spanish king have a a flame with diana okay we don't know or maybe his father sorry i'm not much chap of spanish royalty okay that family i don't think so i don't think so uh, maybe he did like i mean there are time you go places you see someone you have a little you know feeling but you kept that to yourself but i don't know i will n i don't think uh, they will do such a thing okay if that's the case there will be hell <laughs> break loose 
All right, like who watches the BBC anyway? Hi, right? what is the source of this information? Please, just asking. Hell, and they family. Huh, no, they understand. They don't want the others to see that they were the only royal missing there. Okay, watching the Spanish monarch, one can help. One can help it, but compare it to its British counterpart. The Spanish monarchy is chic, modern, youthful, alluring, and the British is stale and bland as soggy bread yikes. Okay, think about it. Charles had to wait until he was well into his 70s before he got his first full-time job. Okay, seriously, they're just pathetic. Australian pub Republic now. All right, let's go to the next one. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. for the better. 